I'm back. Boom. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my carnivore channel. My name is Matthew. What I'm going to do right now is make you a simple man's pork chop. Now, what's been going on with me? Well, if we go back way far, if you haven't uh, been on this channel before, was plant-based 10 years, carnivore day, I think 109. I'll have to re-verify that. It's either 108 or 109, one of those. And I feel absolutely phenomenal. This is the least inflammation diet. I believe this to be our species specific diet. The last few days, oh man, it feels like forever. I was hurting so bad, I couldn't do push-ups, crunches, my back was hurting. There's my upper back to mid, and that was pretty much about it. Yeah, and it was just like, it was going all the way around the back of me. And I was just, whew, laying in bed, man, that was rough. Um, oh man, I woke up this morning and a healing from above came down on me. I'm serious, guys. When I felt that pain, I am not one that's good with pain, okay? And that just, you know, I gotta tell you, since I've been on the carnivore diet, if you've listened to this, if you've been on this channel before, the pain that I went through has gone away. When I'm talking about the pain, I'm talking about the pain before I was on the carnivore diet. Not just this back pain that I got from doing too many major crunches, heavy, heavy crunches, which I am not gonna do for a little while. I did do 300 crunches a day and I did, so pretty hard ones, but not massively hard ones. So I didn't want to hurt myself. And I did those after I did my initial 75 push-ups to see if my whole body was going to break down. <laughs> and also did my arm whips. Everything was good, was kosher. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to take it on a faith. You got to like take one step forward. I took two and then I took a third one. And I was like, man, no pain today. No pain, guys. Ooh, and you know, even today when I signed up for overtime, and I did, I signed up for, it was uh, five hours of overtime. I got two hours a little bit later today. The reason why, because obviously it's overtime, time and a half, and they're adding on an additional so much per hour at work. Insane. Plus <laughs> the sales bonuses. And you know, I told you, you go on the carnivore diet, your brain changes, your chemical makeup, you heal, you become calm. You become calm to the point where it's just that you're more in control. You're calm, you're not flustered, you're not frustrated. Today, I think I I was at, oh man, it's like 30% SP100, which is 30 sales per 100 calls, which is 30% of sales, which is the goal is like eight or nine or something like that. So as you can see, it's definitely helped me for this month. I mentioned this to you in another video, but I'm like double my quota. Um, actually, I believe I'm over doing my quota, which is pretty cool. I always like to have a little cushion there. A lot of cushion, actually. Yes. And because tomorrow, I actually, tomorrow, I think I'll be doing four hours of overtime. Man, that's going to be a killer day. It's going to be horrible. And when I say horrible, I'm talking about good money day. Ah, very stressful day. So I might do two hours on, on, on Monday as well. So we'll find out how I do. Actually, I'll probably just sign up for it and just go for it. But anyway, I'm so glad to be back. I feel like making something to eat. By the way, I did some survival food. Let me see what the survival food is. Right here. So, I've had no time to make anything, but I wanted to get my protein in. So protein goes into the body, and what does it do? It heals it, you know this. The most nutrient-dense food in the world is your protein. I had two cans of chunk-like tuna in the water. Yeah, in water. 54 grams of protein per can. I'm already 108 pro uh, grams of protein. Let's get into, and that is the Lazy Man's Pork Chops. I want to show you something right here. So this is the scale. This is my pork loin. Let's see. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I will tell you. All right, that's on a pound. That's 1.27 pounds. And there's like a 124 grams of protein per so many, hey Google. How many grams of protein, hey Google? Hey Google, hey Google. Forget it Google, okay. Maybe my internet's up. Oh, there it is. Hey Google, how many grams of protein is in a pound of pork loin? We'll see if she answers. It's like a hundred and, I don't know. 123 grams, so right there what we just saw, with this being 1.27 pounds, you do the math. About 140 grams of protein, something like that. All right, come on over. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be searing our pork chops. In a cast iron skillet. 
Papau. This is porcelain covered, yes. So we're gonna get a very even cook on these. All right, we got our pork chops. We just weighed them up. Let's go ahead and throw them in there. Woo -wee. These are thin ones. I really like them thin. This is simple, 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 guys. Lots of protein for healing power. Yes, sir. All right, hopefully we can fit the rest of the pork chops in there. Okay. All right. Now pork chops, you're gonna wanna cook them for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna start my timer once I get the rest of these in there. Ooh, that one's kind of thick. Okay. By some sheer miracle we'll fit all these. I don't know if we will, guys. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna have to do this in two different sections. Yep. All right. The important thing is you get it rolling. All right, so. We got our pork chops in there. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna add on some pink Himalayan salt. Yes, sir. Ooh, I like that pink Himalayan salt, can you tell? All right. Next thing we're going to do is a loud cayenne. Love cayenne on the pork chops. Here we go, gonna add it. Just have some fun with it, yes sir. Okay. Very good. I gotta tell you, it smells really good. Oh wow, pepper, such a delight to be able to smell that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip them so I can season the other side. Very good. And we're gonna go ahead and start the timer. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on eight minutes. Something about pork loin. So this pork loin, I buy this for, I buy this for a dollar, Ah, it's a dollar ninety-eight a pound. I'm biting the big long rolls over at Sam's Club. Love their pork loin. And then I slice it up into little pieces like this and have a lot of fun with it, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. This pork loin right here, now you saw it cost about a dollar. Think of how much protein that is, over 100, about 140 grams for this. So we're talking this cost about $2.20 for all this pork loin, plus the pork loin that we weren't able to fit in there. So just kind of visual on that. Also the butter, I love butter. Butter gets a really bad rap if you're into the carnivore. You know that seed oils is one thing that uh, is gonna be something that you're going to definitely demonize. Seed oils are so closely linked to cancers. Definitely wanna stay away from those. All right, gonna get some salt on this side now. Then you guys get that other pork top flat in there. Here we go. There we go. Let me get some pepper on these bad boys. Now, I will tell you this. Sometimes I put a lid on them, but these are pretty thin pork chops. So, don't think I have to worry about that. Yeah, when you're not feeling good, and I have not. Because when you feel, when you have aches, when you have pains, when you have inflammation in your body, you're not feeling like cooking. You're not feeling like doing anything like that. And... It really, it, it puts you in a sour mood. I'm never in this, oh, well, I don't think I'm in a sour mood. Other people might disagree with me. But I don't think I'm ever in a sour mood. But when, I, when I'm not feeling good, ooh, that is, that is not the time that I actually want to work overtime. There's no way. But making myself do it, yes. So am I concerned about the saturated fat that you see in there? The answer is no. Not at all. I have found the more butter that I eat, the more weight that I lose. The fat just keeps shedding off. You know, if you find a point where you start to level out, my biggest suggestion is start to do some light exercising. If you're not already doing it, I hope you are. For sure. Ooh, that look good now. Oh yeah. Oh man, those look good. Look at those. Ooh, they smell so good. Man, I love that butter. Oh my gosh. The least inflammational diet in the world is going to be, and that is 
the carnivore diet. Or yeah, actually the lion diet is just, but I mean, lion diet is just more restrictive. Before I was carnivore, some, some of y'all have heard of this, but before I was carnivore, it was it was so rough. I I had to lay straight in my bed. I I didn't dream. Oh my gosh, I've changed so much. So j just looking back, I mean, just thinking about it. So I had to get up like four or five times a night to relieve myself. And believe it or not, the carnivore diet is taking care of this. I had to get up that many times. Oh, my back hurt. My legs had to be laid to the side. I, yeah, I didn't dream. That was insane. And now I dream and I don't hurt anymore. Um, my thinking, my clarity of thinking is on a whole different level. Um, I have so many things. I've got so much more energy. I don't burn in the sun. My, my, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say something. I, I got to say, just because, you know, when you Okay, this was the last one I did. There's my blood pressure, guys. 99 over 57. What's going on? Okay. We're talking about blood pressure unheard of. Whew. My blood pressure did start off at 129 over 79. It was right in that range. I just remember that one. It stuck out to me. Um, just, just craziness. Just craziness. And I can't tell you what a blessing that this lifestyle is. And I just have to share the news because people, so many people do not know. They just do not know. I didn't know. You couldn't drag me away from carnivore. You could not drag me kicking and screaming. This is not going to happen. This is such a satiating diet. I had that tuna this morning, which was awesome. Enjoyed it. Not a biggie. I'm going to go ahead and flip these now. We're about three and a half minutes in. Ooh yes sir. I feel really good that I got the exercising in. I really feel like I'm on the behind the eight ball. Why is that, Matthew? I feel like I'm behind the eight ball because I missed out on a few days of working out. Now, mind you, you can skip uh, two weeks. You're not gonna lose any muscle mass, but that's just not me, guys. No. For some reason, I feel like I have like very little time, and I need to do everything right away. That's probably why. When I mean, they offer the overtime and they offer, you know, the extra. I mean, I got no time to burn. I, I gotta, I gotta drill it, make as much money as I can, eat and feel as healthy as I can. Yeah, that's really what it's all about, I think. And of course, loving your family. First and foremost, loving your wife and your dogs and having fun. Sometimes we got to, man, you know, like today, today I had to, you know, it was like a, uh, you know, it's like sacrificing. Like I had talked to Darlene and I was like, you know what? Every other weekend I'm going to be working overtime because we have goals. We have financial goals. And um, she understands when, when we take a look at the money and we take a look at the goals that we, that we have, sometimes there is just some sacrificing that you have to do. And, um, you know, it, it makes a huge, huge difference in the time frame that you can, you know, okay, so yeah, you know, we we do 401ks, you know, save a bunch of money in the bank, but you know what? It's paying off a house isn't easy. Anybody out there that has a house and you haven't considered paying it off or haven't just considered pounding it, I'm going to tell you, live like nobody else. Get your house pounded. Pay it off. Work that overtime when you don't want to. The only one that's going to benefit and the only one that's going to suffer is you. And, of course, anybody that might be living with you or your family. But definitely, you know, take the reins on that. Jump on it hard. But beyond that, what's even more important than getting your house paid off is eating right. And eating right on the most ideal diet. We have been so... Our, our knowledge on correct knowledge has been so compromised by uh, big interest groups telling us that meat causes heart disease, which is a complete lie. It's, it's not true at all. 
Uh, processed meat? Yes, of course, processed meat, but not meat. No, no, no. And then they say something about the meat staying in your intestines so long and yada yada. And I don't want dead things in my body, which is absolutely ridiculous since our bodies were designed to be able to eat meat. Optimally, it's optimal nutrition. It's the most nutrient dense food in the world. There's nothing you need in fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, or legumes. There's nothing. And there's so much misinformation out there, it's just irritating. So irritating, especially for me. I was plant-based for, oh my gosh, 10 years. And I'm telling you, I had all that information. I was eating really, really good. Tons of avocados, juicing for 90 days. Oh my word. But I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and let these cook a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them one more time. Ooh, they're gonna be good, boy. I love it when they're spicy. Yes. <clears throat> what I'll do after this point, they are done. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bite of one of them. Let's see here. I have the fork. I have the empty. Darlene, empty the washing machine. So. Ooh, you know that's gonna be hot now. Mm. Alright guys, so, whoo, let's see what it tastes like. Oh my god. It's been, it's been a few days since I've had pork one. Whoo! Oh man. That clown on there. Hmm. Is that okay? Can you? Mm -hmm. Right there. Ooh. Hope you can see that. Oh my gosh. Mm. I dub this dish <laughs> Simple Man's Pork Chops. Easy to make. How many ingredients? Like four or five? I'm turning them off. Butter, salt, cayenne, pepper, butter, and of course you got the pork loin. You gonna be looking for pork loin? Check them out at Sam's Club. Sam's Club beats most grocery store outlets. Most of the grocery store outlets can be four eighty five dollars a pound on pork loin. And when their sales come, it's gonna be like two fifty a pound. Sam's Club all day, every day, dollar ninety eight. You can't beat it. Cannot. I got so much pork loin in the freezer. We got pork loin steaks, hamburger, just lots of stuff. Um, you know I got those chickens, those rotisseries that I got the other day. Got to eat on those. So, it's gonna be a while till I have to go to the grocery store, which is kind of cool. In a way. I mean, I always like to do the grocery hauls, you know, when I go to Sam's Club. So I can share with you exactly what kind of deals that we're getting. What I'll probably start doing is doing stuff like showing you what I'm using. Like this, what's this? <laughs> What's it? Four of these? Yeah, four of these, basically three dollars a piece. You get four of these for twelve bucks. You don't have to wait till they're on sale. Go to Sam's Club. Get those deals, guys. Y'all have a beautiful rest of the day. I am so thankful that I'm not in pain. And I don't want you to be in pain either, okay? I was in ton of tons of pain before the carnivore. The only time the pain that we're in is usually pain that we can get out of, okay? First thing that we have to do is we have to look at what we're eating. And secondly, if you're like me, maybe you're exercising too much. In that case, it's probably an easy fix. Just back off the exercise and you'll be all right. Guys, I appreciate you. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. You know what I'm doing in about an hour, going back to work. I don't know what time it is, but I do have to go to work at 5.30 to 7.30. Hmm, do a little chit chit chat chat, and then I'll be off. So yeah, not too bad. Central time, Tennessee, about 86 to 90 degrees here. Feeling good, just want to kill some fire ants. So yeah, that was fun. All right, peace out. Y'all be good. Hope you try and enjoy these, and I called them, Civil Man Pork Chops. I think so. Yeah, all right, peace.